Hello, everyone. My name is Sharon Devon, and I am a junior attending Union College majoring in psychology. The title of my research is Look Good, Feel Good, Internal and External Motivations to Confront Prejudice Differentially Affect Decisions to Confront. Before anything, I would like to thank the research grant for funding this research project and all of my lab mates for helping to give feedback on this project. <laughs> to begin with, we have established three different reasons as to why individuals confront prejudice. One of them is confronting due to internal motivations. These individuals genuinely care about confronting prejudice because it is important to them. The goal is to reduce prejudice and inform individuals on why prejudice is wrong, and they are more likely to do so when the opportunity arises. They also have been shown to confront more effectively, such as using empathy or education to help others understand why prejudice is wrong. On the other hand, individuals may be motivated to confront for social reasons. For example, they may be externally motivated to look good. These individuals do so only if they know they will be praised by others and will receive external validation or some sort of reward. Another external factor for confronting prejudice is to not look bad. These individuals will confront if they know that not confronting prejudice will make them appear negatively to those around them. In our study, we examined how individuals with different levels of internal and external motivation made decisions to confront prejudice when they found themselves in different situations of either high or low risk and whether they would look or feel good. We hypothesized that internally motivated individuals will be more likely to confront generally, while those externally motivated would be more likely to confront when they would look good to others, especially if the situation is low risk. To test these hypotheses, we asked participants to imagine that they viewed someone acting in a prejudicial way, and we were explicit about the risk. We think that confronting would be risky versus would not be risky, and then we also told them about the reward. You know that you would feel good about yourself versus you know that it would make you look good to others. Our results showed that consistent with our hypotheses, those higher in internal motivations were more likely to confirm regardless of risk and reward. On the other hand, those externally motivated to confront to avoid looking bad to others were more likely to confront if it was low risk to look good to others, but high risk to feel good about themselves. There was no relationship between external motivations to look good to others and choices to confront regardless of risk and reward. We then examined the relationships among our motivations and participants' reasons for confronting. Specifically, we measure the extent to which their decisions to confront was affected by motivations to advocate, to look at to others, or to avoid looking bad to others. We can see from these correlations that those internally motivated chose to confront based on their desire to advocate, whereas those who are more externally motivated did it for social reasons, especially to gain social approval. Further, we examined how people higher in internal and external motivations viewed prejudice generally and found that those internally motivated versus externally motivated actually perceive prejudice differ differently. Individuals more internally motivated perceive racial prejudice as both an individual and societal problem, whereas those more externally motivated saw it as much less of an individual and societal problem. These were still correlated, but not nearly as highly as internally motivated individuals. Thank you to everyone for listening to my presentation. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to email my advisor, Connor O'Day at odayc at union.edu. And once again, thank you for your time.